Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Atkins meals. Um, this one is the meatloaf with, sorry, meatloaf with portobello mushroom gravy. And I love meatloaf with portobello mushroom gravy, so it'll be good. Premium meatloaf topped with portobello mushroom gravy and a side of cauliflower florets, green beans, and fire roasted zucchini. Um, the only thing that really doesn't sound very good to me is, well, the cauliflower is good if it's cooked, but if it's raw, I'm going to hate it. Um, so this is Atkins high protein, low sugar, generally low carbs too. We bought these at Kroger. They were three ninety nine a piece, so that's not too awfully bad. They're only three hundred thirty calories too. So there's your stuff. So how do we cook this thing? Here's microwave oven. So we're going to place a slit in the center of the film, microwave for four minutes, so that cauliflower should be cooked pretty good. Uh, remove film, stir, rotate it, which I usually don't do. Spoon gravy on top, replace the film, and then microwave on high for additional two minutes. Wow, six minutes for a meal, for a very small meal. So that's, that's kind of surprising. It's a long time for such a small meal. Meatloaf generally does take a long time. There's kind of how thick it is, and there's what you get in there. Um, so I'm going to cut a slit in here, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back when it's done. Yeah, hey, here it is out of the microwave, and you can tell you don't really get a lot of vegetables. I mean, there's there's a little bit, but there's not a lot. And, but a pretty decent sized piece of uh, pressed meat that they call a meatloaf. So uh, I'm gonna let this cool off because it has been in the microwave for like six minutes. So it's gonna be very, very hot. So I'm gonna let this cool off a minute and, uh, and I'll be back. By the way, cauliflower seems really, really tender and soft, which is good because I, I like it that way. So anyway, I'll be back. Okay, it's had a little time to cool off. I'm gonna try, try a piece of cauliflower first. Good and tender. That piece had a lot of gravy on it. All of it's got gravy, but let me see if I can get one that doesn't have quite as much gravy. It's actually good. I like that. Um, I like the cauliflower with the gravy in it. It tastes really good. And the cauliflower is not so strong that, that it turns me off because I really don't like cauliflower that much. This actually has a pretty decent flavor. The green beans. I got a mushroom in there. The green beans are okay. I actually like the cauliflower better than the green beans. The good thing is, you don't get a whole lot of either one of them. There's probably 10 green beans and, I don't know, 15 or so pieces of cauliflower, so it's not a lot. So the vegetable department is kind of lacking in here. Let me try their meatloaf. This is what it looks like cut open. It is steamy. I saw the steam. Definitely has that texture of meatloaf, but it's more like, um, I don't know, that's more like a Salisbury steak. And I know a lot of people have meatloaf with uh, brown gravy. I always have meatloaf with ketchup. That's just how I grew up. That's that's how I've always had it. So um, I kind of missed the ketchup a little bit, but uh, this one doesn't seem to have, I mean, it probably has onions and stuff in it, but doesn't seem to have it in there. But it does have that. Uh, the loose texture like a meatloaf does, you know, like a hamburger is really dense. A steak, of course, is really, really dense, but um, um, hamburger by itself is kind of dense, whereas a meatloaf is kind of looser because they put fillers like a bread filler or something like that in there. Um, it's good. I like the flavor. I wish it was a little, it had a little bit more onion in it, but I do like the flavor of the gravy. I like the texture of the meat. I like the flavor of the meat and the gravy. Um, this smells okay. It's not bad by any means. It's, um, I think the vegetables are really kind of lacking. They could have given you more vegetables. They could have even given you more vegetables and less meat and it would have been fine. Um, but everything flavor wise is pretty good. Um, I wonder how full you're going to be after you eat this though. It's, um, it's a $4 meal basically, $3.99. Is that right? Yeah, $3.99. Um, for four dollars, you're not getting much food. I can just say that. That being said, compared to other meals, let me put it that way. Um, with that being said, I think the flavors in this are pretty good. I'm gonna give it a four. Not definitely not a top of the line, but not an average either. It is does have a really good flavor. Uh, the gravy is really good. You don't get much meatloaf. I mean, uh, in the way of um, uh, mushrooms either. So just let you know. But I like the flavor of the meatloaf. I like the flavor of the gravy. I like the flavor of the vegetables. There's just um, needs to be more of it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.